guys, and welcome back to PCRT, our potassium chlorate reaction test. Today we are testing Vaseline. Uh, two grams Vaseline, excuse me, two grams Vaseline with four grams potassium chlorate. Uh, this was suggested by uh, Talus, again. And, uh, well, let's see how it actually works. I pre-mixed this because it's going to be a problem. Now, I know a lot of people are going to come on here and expect this to do something spectacular because they probably read in some surplus Vietnam uh, munitions, uh, improvised munitions manual or something like that, that petroleum jelly along with potassium chloride is actually an explosive filler. And this is true. It is. But the thing is, is that it only works with like a blasting cap by itself and in a different ratio, which this is not the proper ratio and I'm not gonna mention the proper ratio because um, for safety concerns. Though I can assure you that it's not very impressive. It's not anything big and like it needs to be detonated with at least a number eight blasting cap and it needs to be confined to do anything at all. So, Let's test what it is like though with just the potassium chlorate and mixed with the, or and lit with the uh, regular flame. So once again, if you think this is gonna do something big, uh, I hate to disappoint you, but it more than likely is not. All right, four grams of potassium chlorate to two grams of Vaseline. In three, two, one. Now I bring up that this stuff won't probably do anything, much of anything. And there is a reason, it's because a lot of times explosives that are made using oils or plastics, such as plastic explosives, don't actually, uh, can't actually detonate without a blasting cap. Even C4, you know that really nasty, scary explosive that the military uses? can literally be lit on fire and burn just like this and it won't ever actually do anything. It won't explode, it won't ignite anything because it needs a blasting cap to actually set it off. So the only thing the potassium chlorate really does in this situation is help it burn. There we go, now it's actually starting to catch up a little bit. The only thing the potassium chlorate really does in this situation is help it burn a little bit. So we pretty much just got Vaseline burning now. And molten potassium chlorate. So this stuff, pretty much almost completely safe. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like, to uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and to uh, share this series with your friends if you enjoy it. Uh, be safe, don't try and recreate any of this stuff at home, especially not this because it could be potentially illegal uh, where you live. So. Keep that in mind. Safety is number one priority in this. Thank you guys for watching and bye.